you know, I'm always amazed at this thing. And me, I wonder how oh, politicians are going to help we Jamaican. We really don't want to know how they are going to help. Because the worst thing can happen is try to help somebody we don't know what they want. And Jamaican, I'm 100% sure, no, say. 90% of Jamaican people don't know what they want. All they hear them at all, they know what they want. I bet you one time, they give me a golden. The Prime Minister saw me go here again. One set of the immediate. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me Wagwa my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing alright. Give thanks to life for the gathering. Let me upset on the spirit first before me start talk. The St. James family court today dismissed the case against a 14-year-old Irwin High School student who was charged with the stabbing death of a 15-year-old schoolmate. His attorney, Maurice McCurby, told our news team that the court upheld submission where it was argued that the schoolboy was innocent. People may not even rush it, you know. Come on to the ear, we are going to power, we are going in a two-day society, you know. Because decision day was today. The two charges against him were thrown out as both the murder charge and the possession of an offensive weapon charge were dismissed. The court did not sit in a vacuum and must take the fullness of the law and the fact into account to discharge its duty. Sometimes, however, the suspect is the victim and the deceased is the author of his own fate. That the liar boy is saying to my people. The attorney was quick to point out that notwithstanding the court decision today, the defense sympathized with the family of the deceased. Though the defense is pleased that the court found favor with our submission in law, there is nothing to celebrate about this case. A loss of a child is a major blow to any nation. It has never been lost on us that a family is grieving. The 14-year-old schoolboy was charged following the stabbing death of his schoolmate, 15-year-old Ranil Plummer, on April 18. Plummer was reported approached and attacked by a group of students after he exited the grounds of the St. James Base High School. According to the police, I report the police right, during the assault, Plummer was stabbed in his chest by a 14-year-old male student and was transported to the Cornell Region Hospital to be placed on ice. And guess what? Go on, go on. Tower people and people, they kill people and people. And boom, kiss drop. Everything dismissed. Oh, now go tell me, say, me for just sit down if this was my son. See? Me must just sit down and take it like that. Show the never listen to me from early. Anglo no bangle. What kind of messages really I send though? Hmm? What kind of messages really I send? People, what kind of messages really I send? Nation do me now. The nation doom. But anyway, people that want to talk about politics, we make them talk about them politics. All right, so my view on the appearance of these popular folks at the recent PMP conference is this. It's not necessarily about the party being rooted and embedded in badness. And everybody knows who's been a Jamaican and who's familiar with the history of politics in Jamaica that both parties have had strong ties with criminal elements, both parties. Um, so it's not about the pot, calling the, 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 the pot calling the kettle black. Both parties have always embraced badness. It's just now they're a bit more diplomatic with it. And you have not seen the current prime minister shaking hands publicly or interacting publicly with renowned criminal elements. Past leaders, 
they didn't hide who they supported they didn't hide who they were affiliated with now as it pertains to this year's appearance with cartel and curry and former endorsement by other popular entertainers or public figures it's a marketing strategy they do it in america where kamala had meg the stallion and now you have taylor swift endorsing kamala it's just swaying people's vote you have diarted fans and you have people who don't think for themselves and so a lot of people will sway with their their fan the fans of these popular um artists are public figure if a diarted fan listens to them and say hey they said jump then the fan is gonna jump and i think that's where they they kind of market use that as a marketing strategy to use these popular folks a lot of people like cartel cartel the thing are the best thing since at bread right now since sliced bread right now for this year and in bigger road <laughs> bigger road and so the pmp endorsed his release you see it's evident in the the the, 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 the significant orange clothing or orange um do rag or the kerchief and so now them know say a lot of these folks who are diehearted fan that can that cartel can do no wrong in their eyes if cartel say pmp people go say pmp without looking at the pmp's policy the pmp's track record or anything that the pmp has done the pmp has been a silent party for years i don't know why mark was so timid Number one is a white man and a lot of Jamaicans like white people. So I don't know why he never be more forthcoming and more bold before now. But who knows? I don't know his mindset and I don't know who are his advisors and how he is as a person. Um, so it's a marketing strategy to, to, to garner votes. That's what it is. People like Curry, him look nice. Him, him look like he do things to the Maroon people. Him, him publicly oppose the andrew administration so of course who else is gonna go on board with the pnp but curry <laughs> in the like andrew and the palaces then it may have get andrew a hard time <laughs> you also want to say la lewis <laughs> upon the pnp bandwagon too because they're just teaming up against the owners administration with popularity votes it's a, it's a marketing strategy it's genius if you ask me like me no who bro got to get right now <laughs> Figure, figure go up on the popularity. Maybe mother had to come to Jamaica. Then we will see a true challenge. But it's nothing but a marketing strategy. It's not even nothing to do with badness. And yes, we know. Yeah, we don't want to with cartel and everything. But it's a popularity thing. And they are willing to put their name on the line with a known criminal because of popularity and he will sway votes. It's genius if you ask me. Well, in my view, um, I don't think they're embracing badness. They're just using the weapons for the crowd lightness. Because they know everybody take on to Carter. Well, most persons take on to Carter, so they're going to use him. And apparently he says um, PNP, so they're going to use him, you know, to win over the campaign. So that's my two cents yeah that's a sad part about this topic that's a sad part about society right now everybody's going to go into that direction it's like even i embrace unruliness lawlessness it's like it's a no-no i'll take for example same place here in the states where i am one man say this that 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 everybody i say even the blacks now run female i say yo my the best and yad yaddy and the reason why they're loving it is because of the slackness and same thing come my mouth and they're embracing it you try to be decent to look like a nerd or an idiot but um hopefully it will change or just as time come but like all this it's going to get worse before it get better Bless up yourself, my view, and the my view family. My take on this, where um, cartel at this conference thing, I believe this is just garbage. That's why politics, you see, politics have gone to the dogs. I mean, that's why the community can't be any better. I mean, look who is there, right? What does his music promote? Is he promoting anything good? You understand? 
Look at look at the morals and everything in Jamaica. How the women are behaving, the youths are behaving. Listen to his music, you know. So I mean, just go to show you where politics has gone to. It has gone to the dogs. It's not about helping the people anymore. Jamaica not going to be any better. It can't be any better with these type of be with these type of people who they're having and they're using at their rallies and so forth to rally up people. All that is to rally up people and get vote. This is just ridiculous. It's not going to get any better. You see? And we talk, and we say we want a better Jamaica. How can we? Look what we're doing. Look at what these parties are doing. They don't take Jamaica serious. Do they really love Jamaica? No, they don't. I mean, look at the killing that is taking place in the little island. Hmm? And listen to his music, what they glorify and what they say, what he says in his music and bleach out his skin and all them something there and, you know, which is detrimental to one's health. So it can't be any better, you know. So I don't see, you know, I don't see how they can say they are party for the people. No, the people nasty the party. That's what it is. It's not no use for the people. You know, unfortunately, we have to decide between voting between two political parties. You understand? And people don't take into account that they must hold these people accountable in their community. There's things that need to be done. Don't vote for any of them until they do what they're supposed to do. Don't support them until they do what they're supposed to do. So, but because we love sweets and it's easy for us to get catch, right? Because you now they use Vibes Cartel because many of them run behind Vibes Cartel like as if he's putting your pot on the fire. You know, like him a God. You know, and the true and living God that y'all should be looking to Y'all are not looking to, y'all turn away from, but you, y'all run behind Vice Cartel. Vice Cartel is nobody. He's not God. You see, that is where we have gone to. We have lived from God and turned to man. Man cannot help us. The word of God said, put not your trust in the arm of flesh. So they use him now to boost up more, for boost up their party, right? So more you can come out and they promise him, look at rice, look at this, look at that. And everybody gladly take it. I mean, look at the other day, the first day of school, taxi man protesting because of bad road. That should not have been enough because before election, y'all should be like, look, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't supporting nothing until you guys come and fix this road. No supporting of party. I don't care which side it is. You understand? That's what should be happening. Now y'all running behind this guy. That don't make no sense. You know, don't make no sense. How can Jamaica get any better? Look at our morals. You now gone it passed the toilet stage. Eh? This is a sad state of affair. It's very sad. Very, very sad. You see, that's why the people ain't go to the conference. Because then you say cartel go there. And that's why more people are there. No five people in there, then just ready color card to color see if you don't know them minor thoughts. So it not really matter who won come. Because Buju last year, him this year, who are going to come next year? That's the whole thing about it. So every year, they're going to ask somebody else different. So no better hearing, no better barring, neither or neither. I don't have much respect for this cause. I don't really follow politics, so I never really take notice how I go on. But I give him one post. Say, Cartier, did you go on? I don't know. I don't know what, 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 what they are doing or what they are saying. You see, but to me, honestly, honestly to God, I, 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 I don't see PMP running this country for the next five years. Let me see it. Because the Jamaica Labour Party, I do them, I work hard. They work hard, they do them for the whole thing. The only thing they now really do is cry, okay, try to get rid of the crime as how oh, it should have get rid of. That's the thing. People have not work with them as how they work with them where crime is concerned. Yeah.